<sighs> Eclipse. C creator, you're here. Can I have a hug now? A hug? I thought I lost you. You became. Never mind. I need to get you back to the daycare. Sunny? Hmm? Non-print and facial recognition complete. Welcome back. Easy, Sunny. I know it's uncomfortable. Actually, it feels kind of nice. I'm not so hot anymore. Well, that's good. Let me see if I can find what's wrong. By the way, Sunlight, what happened earlier? I'm getting bits and pieces, but I just can't remember. I put my hand on Greta's cheek. She was... So close to me. Yeah, I keep getting flashes of what happened too. I know I was filled with something. I desire to protect her. I felt an electrical surge. Something surrounded us. I felt that too. At that moment, I was going to do anything to keep us safe. Then, the gator and the wolf were down. Everything went black for me. What happened to us? I just can't remember. Would you two like to know what happened? Or do you just want to chat about it? <sighs> Sorry, creator. No need. But you two should be prepared for my answer. You told me about Eclipse just earlier. I thought Vanny activated him when I entered the Pizzaplex. But that's not true. It was you. You both activated him. He told me so himself. <laughs> Eclipse is a result of you and Moon being active at the same time, and I could clearly see your two personalities as one, both gentle and strong-willed. I thought he would take my life, but Eclipse protected me from Monty and Roxanne. I impossible! Fanny, she told me! And everything Moon did to protect me, it was for nothing? No, it's not true! You're lying! You're just like her! You want us to believe Eclipse isn't a danger so we let him run rampant! I'm sorry, son. Those flashes you're remembering are what he did. No! It could have been a lie! It wasn't for nothing! Son, be careful with your endo! It can't be! Eclipse would destroy everything if we let him out! She's just like Fanny! Just another Fazbear employee trying to manipulate us! Son, I wouldn't lie to you. I never have before. You even trusted me with moving your AI to a new body. I protected you from the company. If Eclipse really did come out, did she use us? Like Fanny? I thought you loved me! Too close! Too close! Those children... Oh no! It couldn't be true! Manny took the children! She forced us! It couldn't! It couldn't! Activate him again. When Eclipse was here, you both wanted to get me inside the Pizzaplex and protect me from Monte and Roxanne. You both are my greatest treasure. I'd never do anything to hurt you. My life has been dedicated to you, son. And I wish Moon saw that. I've put my life and job in danger for you, and if you think I'm using you, then I incredibly misjudged how I thought you felt about me. I know Moon isn't happy right now, and Sunny, my greatest friend, even you're doubting me. So activate him and attack me if you want. Give me those scars you're promising me so much. Finally, I get permission. No! I don't give you permission to touch her! She made you cry. Saying Eclipse isn't dangerous! Vanny 
wouldn't have lied to me. She won it! She needed me. Listen to yourself! Do you trust Vanny over Creator? <laughs> Please, Moon. Creator's the only one who cared about us. Vanny was the one who took advantage of us. And don't want it all to be for nothing. Mistakes I did. All the repent I collected. It's got. And if it was? The nightmares won't come close to the horrors Fanny will face. Let me finish fixing you up. Then we can try getting Eclipse activated again. And you'll see for yourselves. Alright. <sighs> Your coolant hoses are completely melted. And the tube fitting snapped. I know I have some spare parts here somewhere. <sighs> A lot better. Glad to help. Mm -hmm. Hey, no moving now. You don't want the host to disconnect, do you, <gasps> Sunny? Wait. <sighs> All right, you two should be back in top shape. Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> We prove who Eclipse really is then. Ready, Moon? How are we both going to get in sync if you're happy as can be? Oh, I saw it in the Eclipse that they didn't get cuddles to you. Well, if what Creator says is true, and if I wanted cuddles, then wouldn't we be Eclipse right now? Well, I suppose that's true. Now to activate him, why don't we focus on Vanny? I think we both feel the same way about if she lied to us. You'll have to get your anger up again. Believe me! I'm plenty angry and determined to know the truth! <laughs> no. I'm sure it's being in sync that activated him. Maybe you're not feeling the same? Son. I think I know a way to get us in sync. I want to show you my memories. Every time I met with Annie, or I took a child, I put you to sleep. I think you need to see exactly what I did to fully understand my anger. And I hope with all my heart, you'll stand by me after I show you this. Of course, man. I'm not going anywhere. I hope that's true. The sun! Those children! We have to know! They did it. They were in perfect sync. <laughs> I'm happy to see you, Eclipse. Why? You don't even know what we are. I know who you are. My heart. Sun wouldn't hurt me, and Moon. He's not the same man who gave me these scars. Not anymore. We... We did some horrible things, didn't we? You have. 
But that wasn't you. I know it wasn't. You saved me. And you can trust me. I promise I'm not like Vanny. Why should we trust you so blindly? In this form, we bring our true emotions to light and cannot hide in the darkness. Can you truly understand our pain? All the pain Vanny caused us. Those children trusted us. Do you know how it feels to have been lied to? Used to take lives to protect the ones you love. And it was for nothing. We may not be Vanny's pawns anymore. But you have tested our hand. Now, we will test you. <laughs> uh, I... I could never understand what you went through. I know I can't fix what she made you do, but I hope to give you both better futures if you let me stay by your side. You can't deny you used us, changed us to fit your own image. Why should we trust you? Maybe I did use you. The only reason was for a promotion I didn't even ask for, to be the head engineer of the company. That was all I gained from creating your new body. I did it to save you. I knew what your fate could have been if I hadn't. Your AI would have been destroyed, and your body thrown in the trash to rot. If Fazbear Entertainment wanted that to happen, they would have done it. What if even you are a pawn in the game? To fix us so that Vanny could fuel his desires. His quest for immortality. That glitched rabbit cares nothing of us, but we were too valuable to him. At this very moment, he's trying to recreate his own body and struggling to do so. Even the reluctant follower is a disappointment. But you... A strong engineer capable of fixing his source for Remnant fixes his cursed entertainers. And... Perhaps to fix him if he so wishes. Do you think it was their plan to get me to come here? Will they come after me next? They use your loyalty to us. Vanny was the only one who could free Moon from his corruption. And Glitch Trap is very... Cunning. You say you're not like Vanny. You are her shadow. And even more useful. If they capture you, then you'll have no choice but to do as they say. They'll corrupt your mind. <sighs> and she will turn you into a follower. Forgive us. We do not like seeing you so frightened, Creator. So we will give you a choice. You can run from this place and never return to us. Or stay by our side and help us put an end to Vanny and her master. What will you choose? I choose to stay. I would give my life for you, if it means you could be free from this. You care for us so much. You have my heart. Forever. And you have ours. We're fine, Fanny. She would pay for what she made us do. We cannot let them take another child. <sighs> we will not let them take you. We are yours. Until the end. So, no matter what you do, Sun and Moon will never fully remember this? We have only just gotten a taste of this form. Though I am in full control and knowledgeable of my actions, we will get better at understanding just what we can do together. And in turn, we'll better remember when we refer to back apart. Sun and Moon need to see you, so they can trust me. So, what are you? Help them understand who you are. Hmm. Then let us introduce ourselves. We are Eclipse. The sun and the moon with the ability to manipulate the glitches of reality. I activate when the feelings and will of sun and moon are the same, regardless of light or dark environments. And... Creator. Mm -hmm. We can't see you hurt by their hands. No matter what happens. We need you to promise us that you'll leave us if anything were to go wrong. 
No, I can't promise that after you tested me. I can't just leave you like this. Please, you've passed our test. We believe you are ours. But if Fanny does have a part for you in her plan, we just can't see you like that. In this form, our words are true. Believe us when we say you are what matters most. You must be safe. Leave us if we can save you. I promise. If that moment ever comes. But if you fall to ruin, I'll return and I'll put you back together. N now then, how do you revert back, I wonder? Well, in our first meeting we had used our Eclipse Rising ability to protect you and grew too exhausted to stay. But we believe just like a simple light switch, we might be thrown out of sync with one another. Or I will remain until our energy depletes. Do you know how to do that? Well, Sun and Moon's biggest fight has been my relationship with Sunny. But it does seem even Moon has some semblance of feelings for me as well. I mean, if that wasn't the case, then you'd have reverted back long ago. But Moon never did let Sun and I get too close. So, that being said, maybe this could work? Um... I never did thank you for saving me earlier. So, thank you, Eclipse. wasn't you, and not like Vanny. Please wake up. It was for nothing. And she will turn you into a follower. Traitor! Moon, it's alright. You're alright. Give me that! Moon! He us! I know, son. I definitely felt that. How DARE YOU BREAK MY ONE RULE! Then let us introduce ourselves. We are Eclipse. Manipulate the glitches of reality. You see, he's not dangerous. He has... incredible abilities. Then... It's as if he was for nothing. He told the truth. A damn scare tactic! All those things I did! It's meant nothing you saved. I'm murderer. No, Moon, you are not a murderer. She used you, and you gave your all to protect Sun. Despite all the pain you were in, you remained strong and compassionate to him. I can't imagine what you've been through, but I can help you move on. And now we have Eclipse. As soon as I think I know everything about you, you still surprise me. I know Eclipse told you he wants you safe, but don't get any ideas. I'm not son. I don't care about you. He also said his words were only the truth. You say you don't care, but your eyes tell a different story. Why do you care about me so much? Of all the years you've worked here, I understand why you and son love each other. But why me? I gave you those scars and pushed you away for your sake. I've done nothing but hurt you and even try keeping you from Sunny. I... I nearly took your life. I'm the villain in your story. For my sake? It's just as Eclipse said. You've done nothing but protect the ones you love. Even now you try to push me away to protect me from risking my life for you. You don't want to admit it. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not. Why then? You don't have to push me away anymore. I've given everything I am to you. I've tried showing you you're not alone. You need me as much as I need you. Did you do that on purpose, little creator? So that you could feel needed? You were their reason. You were their problem. 
and what led Sun to nearly being scrapped. Everyone in Parts and Service wanted you in the trash, not Sun. I was the one who protected you. I was the one who defended your worth to them. It was never just about Sun to me. I made it my top priority to make sure you were safe. Are you listening to me, you little puppet? How dare you question me? I have listened to every word from your lips, relished in every breath you've ever taken, adored every beat of your heart, and sacrificed to see Sun's dream come true. You have given me a need I could never satisfy. I need to tell you how jealous I've been that Sun would be the only one to make you smile. But how you've given me my greatest fear. Everything within these walls would fall to ruin, but I can't lose you. I can't see you brave your last, and I can't be the reason that you did. Don't you dare question me on if I listen, when listening was all I could ever do. I'm a monster, and I have to end this. I have to give those children peace, and make sure another won't be taken. I won't ask you to risk your life for the sins of a follower. Let me go. And after I return, I'll follow you. Go wherever you and Sun want to go. You will be my world. Just... wait for me to return to you, please. I've always waited for you, Moon. No matter how hard you tried pushing me away, I still dreamt of this moment. When I could talk to the real you. And when you return, I'll be everything you need me to be. And I'll give you the peace you deserve. <laughs> Take my bracelet as a promise that you'll return to me to give it back. A promise? If that is what you wish of me, I promise. To the moon and back. Be safe. Both of you. <laughs> You've never been alone, Moon. I'll make sure this never happens again. Five nights at Freddy's, just as it's always been. I'll be seeing you all very soon. <laughs>